This is how to set up the three time frames chart that you see me referring to more and more because I absolutely love it and I think you will too. I think it will completely change the way that you look at the charts. Now with the three time frames, you can see all three time frames at one time and track them at the same time. I'm going to show you how to set this up. Now, this is just a regular chart. If you just call up a new chart, all we have here is the standard candlesticks. There's nothing else on here. So the first thing you do is go to candlesticks, highlight that. Don't use the regular candlesticks. Go down to the Heiken Ashi candlesticks. That's what we like to use. And you can see these beautiful Heiken Ashi candlesticks. I've tricked mine out a little bit. I, uh, if we go to the settings on the Heiken Ashi candlesticks, you can see where I've changed a few things. I've made the border uh, black on the green ones and yellow on the red ones. And uh, I have the price lines reflecting the last only, not the pre-post, not the high-low and the bid-ask. And that's uh, pretty much all that I've done with the Heiken Ashi candlesticks. Now the next thing is you see on those charts, I like to use volume. How do you find volume? Well, I just go here, put in V, O, L. First thing that pops up is the volume indicator. Boom, I put it right in, there you see it. Now, there's a couple of things we can do to tweak that out. So I'm gonna go again to settings, and I like to have I, I, I like to have the color based on the previous close. That will change some of the colors of the candlesticks for you. I like tracking and knowing what the previous close was. So instead of it always being green if they're up candles or always being red, if they're down candles, which is the way it's typically set up, it'll base the color on the close of the previous candle, which is helpful. And there was something else I wanted to show you there too. Let me go back to settings. Oh, I know what I like. I also like to have average volume. I go ahead and put that in. You can leave that blue. I think in one of my charts, I might've changed it to black. But again, it just puts in the average volume. Now, remember, as we look at volume here, <clears throat> you can see how it is set. You're gonna have growing volume. Uh, falling volume, and that is based most of the time on the candlestick. Inputs, it's the moving average of 20 days. You can reduce that, you can increase that, but I think 20 days, that's pretty standard, that's fine. Okay, now here's where the real magic takes place. We just have a regular chart. It's set at the weekly, right? Well, this is cool. See this box up here? If you select layout and you go to this one right here, boom, it sets up three different boxes. And one of the most important things to do, where I had one of you guys last week, when you go, you can't see all this in here, but all you need to do is make sure that crosshair is blue and symbol is blue. Why symbol? Because it means that you have set up the same symbol to be on all three charts. So that when you change the symbol, you don't have to go through and change it on each three time frame. Now, after you've done that, next thing I want you to do is you notice when you highlight a box like that, I'm just clicking on it, it goes from box to box. Now, the top box is set on the weekly. The middle box, we're gonna change that to the two day, boom. And the bottom box, we're gonna to change to the 195 minute. Now, I want you to look at the crosshair that you see me messing with here. Do you notice how it moves along rapidly on the bottom? It's moving along slower on the two day and even slower on the weekly, why? Because it's tracking. Is that not fascinating? It is tracking the same time period on three different time frames which is so cool because you can watch price movement at the same time on the three different time frames. And of course you can mess with making the candles bigger, making the box smaller, all just the standard stuff there. But after you set this up this way, you need to come up here and you need to save it. Now of course 
you can name it. You can go over uh, off the screen here and name it whatever you would like to name it. We'll just, uh, yeah, we'll name this uh, <clears throat> example. That's what it is for you. It's an example on how to set <clears throat> this chart up. What's so beautiful about this chart is it really does allow you to see the ebb and flow on the big chart, the medium sized chart, and the small chart. And you can see where moves, and if you look at where the market really started coming down before it bottomed out, you can check out the volume at all of these levels on the weekly chart. You can check out the volume at all of the same levels on the two-day chart, and you can find fascinating things occurring. You can see how the two-day chart plays into the weekly chart. When there is a market capitulation at the bottom, you can see where it hits the low with the highest volume. You can then see where it moves up and gets no purchase, nobody's interested. Then where it moves down and retests the bottom again with high volume there. And once it retests that bottom with high volume and things have capitulated, it starts to move up. Uh, and then has a little bit of a blow off, moves up again on the two day chart. You can just watch where there's strong up candles on the weekly chart that whole time. Then you can watch again where the market has topped out on the green candle on the weekly. And then of course, m starts to move lower, rechecks the top and then moves down in the short term and then turns back over again and where it appears to be topping here. Isn't it fascinating to watch how these things transpire on all of these charts as we go through time? And it's so easy to set up. And you see that we simply have one price listed here. This dotted line that we set up is where the price is at any given point in time as you are looking at the chart. This is where it closed this last Friday. So again, I love this chart. I've been having so much fun with it, being able to see the volume, being able to watch for divergences in volume and price, and being able to do some real volume price analysis as I am looking for trades. As I said, this has quickly become my most favorite chart of all times. And in fact, it is one of the absolute most simple charts that I have. And of course, it works for any of the things that we track, whether it's cryptocurrencies, whether it's ETFs, indexes, commodities, you name it. And of course, one thing that we love to fill in here, this is another thing that's really cool, is go to your trend lines, pick a ray, because I always like to set it up where I set a ray up. And then, of course, we make sure that the ray goes out in time. So remember the rule for setting up a trend line, which is what this ray is, is bottom up, top down down. So if the market's going up, you set it at the bottom. And if it's going down, you set it at the top of the candle. And the beautiful thing is you get to see when you do set it, and we are setting this, of course, on our biggest trend, which is the weekly, you get to see when the weekly trend line is, when the weekly trend line is broken on the two day chart, when it's broken on the half day chart, or when it's simply moving up as it does a lot of the time above the trend line. Or of course, if we go ahead and reset this for that prior down move, you can see how often the market is below, the price is below, and then when it breaks through going up. And of course, you're looking for market capitulation, you're looking for topping, all those kinds of rules that you have when you are doing trend following using both price and volume analysis. 
it is very, very helpful and being able to see what that big trend is doing while you're analyzing the smaller time frames is just so incredibly helpful. And as you change this on one chart, you can immediately see the uh, anything that you change on one chart, it immediately reflects it on the other charts where it is extremely helpful. And that, folks, is how to set up what we call our three time frame chart so you can do volume and price analysis as trades, markets are moving, you're in the middle of trades, waiting for trends to end, for trend lines to be violated, for volume to change, for price to change. It is just fascinating and extremely easy to set up this chart. And I believe, like me, you will love it. Just a little gift for you on President's Day. Set this up. Save it for yourself. Of course, for those of you who are not familiar, we are using TradingView. We love it. There is a link in the show notes that you can go through us to set up your own TradingView account. Um, we, we just, again, appreciate you being with us. You have questions, problems, concerns. We always love to hear from you. CW at ChartingWealth.com. God bless.